What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be making some filter socks. So a couple things you're going to need. Obviously you're going to need uh, this fabric stuff that I've picked up at Joann's. Uh, I don't know exactly the price I got it for. I honestly can't remember. And you're going to need some cardboard to cut yourself out a template. And these measure these are 12 inches by 12 inches you're also going to need a ring from an old filter sock obviously a sewing machine and your thread and all that good stuff and that's basically it so let's get going all right first thing I like to do is I like to fold this over right here probably I don't know maybe a half inch or a little more and I also I have this sewing machine uh, set to they're like little zigzag patterns on this one it's uh, the number four so let's get started here And I like to go back and forth. I like to go back and forth just on the ends on both sides. That way it's a little more stronger on the ends here. So I roll the machine up here, pull it out, and cut it. Now, I mean, they're, they're not perfect. As you can see, the, the actual thickness, you know, it's like a half inch, closer to kind of a quarter inch. It's some of them are a lot better than others but they'll still work so now what you want to do is you want to fold it inside out like this and get all your corners lined up and I kinda like to fold it just to get a nice crease in there I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off here real quick the extra string alright and then so now what we're simply gonna do is we're just gonna make like a sock uh, kind of pattern. It doesn't have to be from edge to edge because that'll be a little more harder. Um, it's just a lot easier to go around one side of it and then make like a little J pattern or a sock pattern, I guess you can say. And I do the same thing here. I'm using the number four, which is a zigzag, and I'm gonna go back and forth a couple times just to make the edges really strong. And so right here, I'm going to go ahead and start making the little turn that I'm talking about. And then we'll press the reverse button so it goes in reverse. And there we have it. And you just take this and cut off the excess. So now I'm going to go ahead and clean up the loose thread here. Just cut off all of it that you that you can.
Okay, and then I also like to go back here and just make it into the shape of a sock and clean it up the edges if I need to. Okay, and so your sock should pretty much look like this. It's completely inside out, just like this. So all we need to do is just fold it inside out. Or fold it right side in, I should say. And, I mean, this one's kind of funky because of the edges, but it's all right. Then you have just a normal looking sock. Now, what I like to do is, since I don't put any drawstrings on mine, um, there's two ways you can do this. If you have the PVC that comes down from your tank, say this is a PVC in here, you can put it on your PVC. And I like to get a rubber band and kind of double it up. And then, you know, I'll come up from the top and I'll just put that rubber band up here and it, and it holds on there. Now, that only lasts for a couple of days before, you know, it'll start overflowing. So you got to kind of watch out with that. You'll be uh, dumping a lot of uh, RODI water in your reservoir and you'll wonder why. How come the first chamber is just so high, but, you know, the second chamber is not uh, staying full. It's using a lot more water than normal. That's because this thing is getting clogged up. But if you have, uh, you know, the four inch circle in your sump here. your sump takes these, what you can do is, and what I do, and 12 inches is just at the right number to where it's not too tight, but it's not too loose, and this thing will fit on here. Now, you can't put it in your tank like this because once the water starts flowing through there, it's just going to fall off, but I get a 14-inch zip tie from Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever your hardware store is. And I'm not going to do this one because I don't want to waste a zip tie. And I just crank it up pretty tight. And then I get some, uh, uh, what are these, uh, channel locks. And uh, cut the excess off, excess off. And so I'm basically putting it right around this little second ring right here. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link to this fabric below. And uh, pretty much everything you'll need and the actual sewing machine that I'm using. Uh, I believe this was like 79 or 80 bucks at Walmart. I actually requested this for a birthday a couple years ago after I watched uh, Fish of Hex's video on how to make his filter socks. So this video is basically based on me learning that from Fish of Hex and uh, putting my own little twist on it and using these uh, rings here. Because I didn't want to make or put drawstrings to there just it's just an extra step I really don't want to mess with but yeah that's it uh, if you like this please give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it go ahead and hit that thumbs down button it don't bother me one bit uh, don't forget to subscribe and go ahead and hit that little bell notification the icon right there and select all that way you won't miss any videos that I upload in in the future so I appreciate you guys watching thank you so much